What's that everybody? Boy Big Brando and today let's talk about design size. Now that's a question that I get all the time. Especially now that I'm on TikTok and I show people when I'm pressing shirts, I'm doing like left chest prints and back prints and stuff like that. People always want to know what's the size of that design? What size should my designs be? And I always respond with, there's no set design size that I go by. If I think something's going to look good at three inches, then I'm going to make that design three inches. If I think it's going to look better at five and a half inches, I'm going to make it five and a half inches. If a back design looks good at 10 inches, I make it 10. But if it looks good at 13 inches, then I'll go 13. It all depends on the actual design. There's nothing in my design process that says, all right, this is back design, this has to be 12 inches. This is gonna be a left chest print, it has to be this size. Nah, it doesn't. I never go based off of that. So a lot of times people think because it's on the left chest, that it's only a certain size, so whatever they're doing has to be that size. But for example, I'm wearing a t-shirt right here that has a left chest print. If I were to measure this, looks like it's about three inches. So if I told somebody, yeah, left chest print's three inches, so everything they do is three inches. But here's another t-shirt right here with a left chest print, and this one is five inches. But you gotta remember that both of these are two different logos, right? So this complaint department one is just straight across, this one right here has a little LA logo and the riders underneath. So if I went based off of a set size and then this one was three inches, it would only be like this big. Cause this one right here is three inches. See what I mean? This one looks better if it's a little bit bigger. So that's why I made it five inches. This one right here looks good at this size. So that's why I made it three inches. Same goes for back prints. Same go for the front prints, center chest, left chest, whatever it is. I design everything based on what I feel is gonna look the best. That's all you guys have to do. There's no set size. There's no set dimensions that you have to design to because it's going on the left chest or whatever. It doesn't matter. The best way to figure out something, like if you wanna see visually what it's gonna look like, is take some tape and let's say you just tape off a square around here. You measure within that square so now visually, you know exactly what it's gonna look like. You're like, nah, I could go a little bit bigger than that. Now nah, that looks a little too small. So now you rearrange the tape and you get the tape to the size that you want. Then you take your ruler and then you measure the dimensions of the tape. Now you put that into Photoshop or Illustrator and you design to those exact dimensions because now you know visually what it's gonna look like. So like I said, there's no set size. There's no set dimensions all designs are different since all the designs are different they're all going to be size different also so go based off of visually what you think looks good have somebody wear the shirt don't just lay the shirt flat onto a table have somebody wear the shirt and then you place the tape on wear the shirt yourself go to the mirror put tape on the shirt that way you can visually see what it's going to look like draped on the body because a t-shirt always looks different when it's flat on a table or flat on the floor versus when it's draped on somebody's body. For another example, here is LA Riders logo right here. Here is my The City Don't Love You logo. Both of these are back prints. So this back print and this back print both go on the back, but both are different sizes. So as you can see, if we line these up, this one right here is a little bit bigger. So this one right here is 13 inches across. This is a back print. This one right here is under 12 inches. Once again, both of those are back prints. Would this one look better if it feels smaller? Probably. Would this one look better if it feels bigger? Probably. This one right here, same exact thing. The arch in this logo gives it a little bit of a different look. This one right here, straight shot. This one right here, arched. That small manipulation looks a lot different when it's on somebody's body. So if you're telling me, hey, I got a back print, what size should my back print be? I don't know, I have no idea. I can't tell you that because I don't know what your design looks like. I don't know what you're going for. I don't know where you want it placed on somebody's body. This one right here goes a little bit closer to the shoulders, like up top, a little higher. This one right here, a little lower than that. And it lands in between the shoulder blades. So both of these, have different placements when it's on the back. Both of them have different sizes. See what I mean? Size difference isn't that crazy. It's within like an inch or two, right? But when it's on the actual body, it makes a big difference. I don't know if you wanted like a really high across the top of the back print. 
I don't know if you wanted a center back print. All of that plays a big role in your design size and how it drapes on somebody's body. So I hate to sound like an asshole when people ask me, well, what size should my design be? And I tell them, I don't know. I know people want a straight answer because usually that's what people want. But outside of all that, ultimately comes down to you. Visually, what do you want to see? And this is one of the biggest reasons why I personally own a vinyl cutter and a heat press because I can always cut something out on vinyl, press it on the shirt, wear it around and see what it looks like. So this is a plastisol transfer, but it's easy for me to cut this out on vinyl and place it on the shirt. Now I could see what it looks like on the shirt when it's draped on the body. Visually, I could get a better understanding. So I'd be like, nah, this could be a little bit smaller or it could be a little bit bigger. Then cut out another one press it on a shirt, boom. Now I have a better idea what it's gonna look like. Now I could send that design to the transfer company, have a bunch of transfers made. Same goes for this one. I know this one's a multicolored print and I know there's a bunch of stuff inside of the text, but if I were to just cut out the tech of this actual design and then slap that vinyl onto the t-shirt, I have a better understanding of what everything's gonna look like. It's not the actual design, but it's just good to visually see what it looks like. Then I could be like, oh, you know what? This design's a little too big. It's landing into the armpits. I need to shrink it down a little. Placement's not as high as the other one, so I need to bring it down a little bit and shrink it up a little. Usually, that's how I do things. You don't have to operate that way, but this is what works for myself. I need to visually see what something's gonna look like to make a better decision on it. So then that way, I can always adjust the size of the design after the fact in Photoshop or Illustrator. I could scale it up, scale it down. I use the tape technique to get my initial measurements and dimension size. That's what I put in there. I designed that. If I have to make minor tweaks to make something an inch bigger, two inches bigger, or maybe scale it down a little bit, I can do all that post after the design's already been made. But when I first sit down to start designing, I have an idea of the dimension size that I want because I want it to look a certain way on the t-shirt. So that's all you have to do. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Sorry, this doesn't give you no set numbers on what to make your designs. Because like I said, if I told you design everything at three inches for a left chest print, you're gonna be like, man, that looks too small because all designs are different. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what look you're going for. So the best way to find the design size that you want is to use the tape method. Tape off a little square, measure that, see what that looks like on you. Look at yourself in the mirror, take a picture of yourself. So that way you can see what it looks like and then you design to those dimensions. That way you get the best size for what you want to accomplish. Hopefully this video helps somebody out out there. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yep. Yeah.